typical British weather. Hi everyone, so welcome to my cutting video. This video, well this part of the video, this first part, is about why I'm doing it. So why am I doing this cut? Why do I want to lose the fat? I basically realised that I've been training for a while, a few years, and I've never been properly cut before. I've never really, I've had six pack abs once, but I wasn't really developed then, and my body composition has changed quite a lot since then. And I want to see how I look, um when I've got basically low fat. I want to be in single digits percentage wise of fat. See see the cuts, see the shape. I'm almost a little bit fed up and I've realized this bulk has gone on too much of eating here and there. And I want to get rid of the soft parts and make myself more tight. So this diet is going to be quite clean. Uh, well, very clean and hopefully very consistent. It's the classic sort of bodybuilding style of doing it. Seven meals a day. So it should keep me all right even though i'm in a deficit it should keep me all right because i'm having seven meals a day equally spaced out so i shouldn't feel hungry for too long small meals though first point i want to make is well i've already made the first point is because i want to look better but the second point is i want to prove to myself and everyone uh, you guys as well that i can do something like this i can set a goal and go out and achieve it make myself more consistent in eating in training I've, I've really been training a lot more consistently and i want to make more videos as well and by doing this and by documenting it hopefully i'll be making more videos at least once a week hopefully twice a week and we'll just go from there you know let's not try and do too much too quick keep updated and show you what i'm doing either cooking videos or training videos or me talking or anything in general i want to prove to myself and not fail you know see how long it takes third point i want to make this time next year around july august september time in the uk anyway is the time where competitions happen and this time next year i want to hopefully compete my goal is to bolt throughout the summer and then cut again about a bit sooner probably around may next year around body power times but this year is almost like a practice one so your first cut should never be the one you're going to do before competition uh because you you don't know a lot of variables a lot of factors that might come in the way and how it will go so this cut i'm going to see how long it actually takes um for me to cut down how i actually look what kind of foods i enjoy and how i can mess around with the macros and my training and water intake supplement well you know all that business and i'll see and it's going to be hard to motivate myself sometimes because there's no like sort of thing at the end opportunities might arise for me i might be able to set up some sort of you know photo shoot like might as well make the most out of looking good right and maybe go on a holiday later on this year so you know by my birthday at least i want to be really nice that's enough of me talking on to the next clip So, just got home from doing the shopping. I unpacked it all, as you can see, nice and pretty uh, for you all to see. It's all laid out here, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I got ready for this prep. I will set my camera down on the stove, I guess. It's the best place to put it. And let's see what we got. So, we've got a good mixture here of carbs, fats, and proteins. Um, it's all been calculated and stuff, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. So, this is no particular order of when I'm going to eat it or anything like that, but it's just how it's laid out. So, we got some eggs right here, uh, some free range large eggs, probably going to be on my breakfast every day, probably about two, three eggs right there. We have my fruit, so we got bananas, and sometimes I will have apple. Vegetable wise, we've got carrots, we've got some potatoes to go into some wraps. All this food here is about a week's worth, give or take. Some food might last longer than others, obviously, um, but it's about a week's worth of food. And it's 
pretty inexpensive to be honest. I mean, if you think about when you go out and you eat every day, how much you spend on lunch or how much you, you know, here and there, getting food bit by bit, it all adds up. And I'm gonna have more consistent meals throughout the day. So keep the metabolism high. The well ones are here. I think I talked about the cucumber, I'm not sure, but hear that. I'm gonna cook everything in cooking spray. So I'm not gonna use oil or butter or anything like that. I'm gonna grill most stuff or boil it in uh, obviously hot water and stuff. So keep it nice and healthy. Protein wise, again, so I've got my protein shake right here. Um, at the moment I'm using Mutant Mass, not Mutant Mass, Mutant Pro 100 Whey and semi skim milk for now. As the cut goes on, this will turn into water, but for now it fits, so it's all good. I'm gonna be having two rice cakes a day. So there's that, I've already had a few. That, okay. Basmati rice, yeah, I said that like a real Asian. Basmati rice, there's that, um, right there. I'll tell you about the calculations of how much of that I'm gonna have with Three kilograms of chicken, one kilogram each. Um, skin off, fat off, diced up, so it's ready to go. I bought this the other day. Where is it? Right here. Nando's Peri Peri Chicken Marinade. All gonna be weighed out on my little scale, which needs a battery, which is very annoying because I'm starting this cut tomorrow and I need to buy a battery. It's Sunday at 7 p.m. Most shops are shut. So, Having whatever, six, seven meals a day, every single day, chicken and rice, chicken wrap, whatever, it's gonna get quite boring. So each week I will change it up. Mince meat or, you know, obviously quite fat free and stuff. Or um, favorite fish, quite, I think arguably the best sort of fish. Tilapia, might have heard of it. Real nice, real good, good quality food. And yeah guys, so here's all the food. Hopefully that helped you out a little bit on what you need to get, and it's, yeah, didn't cost that much. Good times. Here's me stepping onto the scales, weighing in right about 80 kg. My goal by the end of the cut is to get to about 72, and I'll see where I go from there. Now, these are very accurate scales. They're doctor's mechanical scales, but I do plan on getting more precise pound electronic scales uh, to be better at tracking. And there you see, 80 on the dot. Welcome back. So this is the third part of the video. First part was about why I'm doing this cut. The second part was about what I got food-wise, what I brought from the shop. And this last bit is about how I calculated it all. So let's get straight into it. You can see me recording in my mirror behind. That's, that looks funny. Anyway, let's carry on. So, a lot of you might be fairly new to this, so I'm gonna start off real simple. Macros. So macros are carbs, fats, and proteins. Most know this. Now, how much should I have? So how you should start? Get your maintenance calories. I'll put a link of a calculator beneath, in the description box, of a calculator you put in your age, your weight, uh, your goals, your activity levels, and it will give you a rough estimate of how much you need to stay exactly the same, how many calories. Now, as well as macros, there's micros, so there's like making sure you get your fiber, um, your water, so I'm gonna aim for at least about three liters a day, your fruits and veggies, apologies. I realized how much I was doing this with my hands, so I'm gonna stop that now. Back to macros. So, it's important to know, I'm gonna put them on the screen as well, in one gram of fat, there's nine calories. In one gram of protein, there's four. And in one gram of carbs, there's also four. So that's something that you should have in your head. There's also calculators on, on bodybuilding.com, I think, on how much uh, carbs you need to cut, how much protein you need, um, fats. You just There's also, I think, probably a fat calculator. How I'm doing my protein is... I'm going by 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So I weigh 174 pounds, not kilograms, because in the UK we're doing kilograms. I converted that. And that equals roughly, I think it was like 210, something like that. That's my protein done. Carbs, I 
calculated only 200 and yesterday was my first day of this cut and I realized how low 200 is it got to me so hard and then I asked one of my fellow colleagues who competes and she said whoa don't start on 200 200 cars way too low so I'm gonna up that fats I've got 40 here 38 40 and that's also pretty low but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to compensate about that here's my messy sheet the first draft I did of this diet so how I got all this stuff, how I got all these, so for example, chicken breast, how much I'm going to have and, you know, how I got all that was, of course, my fitness pal. Uh, you must have heard this by now. And here is me right, right in the beginning of when I first ever started lifting, um, literally right in the beginning. You can check, for uh, example, what food has how much of what in it. I wrote everything down and it's important to know. I'm not doing the if it fits your macros way really. I did that once and it does work, but I tend to mess up after a little while. I was I was losing fat and stuff, but it did mess up after a little bit. Um, I started eating a little too much. I was off and I was getting frustrated at everything I ate. I had to sort of go on my phone and track and log it in. So instead, I've looked at it all now. I've put it down and this is basically the base plan of my diet that doesn't mean it's going to be this every day or every meal so for example i can't have chicken seven times a week four meals a day i'm going to change that to fish sometimes because you need that some red meat you know i'll change a few things here and there as long as it's similar macros i've got my whey protein my milk which will change to water soon enough two large eggs bananas apples getting fiber my rice as you've seen in the last video a couple of rice cakes Tortilla wrap, I had to make some adjustments here and stuff, never mind that. And some fruits and veg that I've added some more. And it gave me 210 protein, 38 fat, 201 carbs, which equals 234 calories, which is very, very low. I'm going to stick to that template. But then what I'm going to do for an extra meal is kind of make up the fats because it's important and make up the carbs because otherwise I feel absolutely terrible. I've got no energy left at all. I'm going to add something in every day like... For example, I have a little bit of nuts um, that adds some fats, obviously. Very little bit of protein. And a supplement I'm taking, I'll quickly go over that. I bought some green tea tablets because I don't like the taste of real green tea. And it's meant to be good for your metabolic rate and stuff. So I'll, I'll like to try out supplements at least for a month at a time. I take my BCAs. I take pre-workout. Sometimes, not every time, I always have my monsters. As you've seen here, I've got my protein. That's it really for supplements. Don't really need much more than that. I usually don't like vloggers who cut and chop every single bit of their scene, but I've had to do it because I'm quite new to this and I make a lot of mistakes. How often will I have refeeds? That's hard to say because I just started. So I don't really need it right now, but we'll see how that goes. Might be, I don't think once a week, maybe once a week. Depends how I feel. Or once every two weeks. Probably be a cheat meal rather than a cheat day. And uh, the carbs on that day, definitely. At the end of the day, I've given you my macros, but the real macros are going to be, instead of 200 carbs, probably going to be around 280, pushing 300, and fats, probably around 55. I forgot to talk about my cardio. So, I'm starting on about two cardio sessions a week. I'm um, slowly up that as time goes on. That's about all I need right now. Oh, thank God. Carbs will slowly go down as time goes on. Fats maybe, but protein stays above. 200 and yeah that's it for this video um i hope you learned something from it taking something away and i will be making more and going over some stuff again making more content and i'm going to do a quick physique update in my mirror which is quite far away but the light's over here and you got to look good
that sound. Everybody look what's going on. Catch you next one. Ain't that fresh? Now everybody wants to get down like that. Hey.